The Oxford Martin School predicted back in 2013 that almost half of the US jobs would be automated in 20 years. And now we see that robots have actually replaced 1.7 million jobs since the year 2000. But here's the exciting part. Artificial intelligence is actually poised to create 97 million new jobs. So your goal shouldn't be how do I protect my job from the machines, it should be how do I prepare myself for the jobs of tomorrow. So far humans still excel at jobs that require creativity, empathy, and critical thinking. So it might just make sense to focus on these areas. It's it's also important to keep setting aside time in your life to keep learning and updating your skills. Smash that subscribe button because a big part of keeping relevant is education. Because the future is not about securing jobs, it's about grabbing job opportunities. So now let's talk about how specialized knowledge isn't enough in the world of AI. So have you ever heard about how jobs like mathematicians, accountants, and actuaries are safe from economic hiccups? Well, not anymore. These jobs are now right at the center of complete shakeups caused by artificial intelligence. And it's not just them, other jobs like budget analysts and judges are also in the spotlight. Alina Oaken published on LinkedIn how when you used to have special knowledge, it used to save your job. She knew a guy who kept his job for 25 years by not sharing any of the tasks that he did so nobody else could learn what he did. But now with tools like ChatGPT, we've learned from the world's knowledge and you can ask it very obscure things. And now you can have answers to the kind of things you wouldn't have before, so use that to your advantage. But another big part of the future is teamwork. So let's talk about how Tuckman's model is now getting transformed by AI. So have you ever been part of a team that's like not working well together? Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Stay calm. Everybody, well, most of us have, and now artificial intelligence is being applied to the Tuckman model of team dynamics. So there's four main parts to this Tuckman stuff. The first is the forming stage where the team just gets to know each other. The second is the storming stage where everybody puts their ideas out there and disagreements start to pop up. After that, the norming stage where teams like start to work through the problems and kind of gel together. And then finally, the performing stage where everybody gets together and works like a well-oiled machine. But new AI tools can be trained to learn a team's interactions. AI can actually analyze vast amounts of conversation and make a prediction about what stage the team's at, giving managers some insight into how the team's gonna do in the long run. But even tight ships sometimes have leaks. Let's talk about a new Google leak. So if you're looking to stay relevant in technology, a Google researcher recently shared some startling insights in a leaked document. And it suggests that the big tech race for artificial intelligence is not being won by the big players, Microsoft, Google, and the like. Instead, the surprising winner seems to be the open source community. Basically, the drive for opportunity is pushing so many people into building the community up faster than even the big companies can build it. By many metrics, they're actually outpacing Google and OpenAI to solve relevant problems. They've even created artificial intelligence that you can run on a simple smartphone and customize yourself. The document also points to one interesting event, and that was the leak of a very powerful artificial intelligence model called Llama that came out of Meta. From that leak, the open source community has really flourished. And it's clear that the open source community just has a lot of advantages that big tech can't match. They can easily access new technologies, they can innovate really quickly, it's easier to get people on board with their projects. Deep down, we all kind of knew this, but open source AI is a game changer. But one once promising branch of artificial intelligence in the hiring process has now been thrown to the dirt and with good reason. So Amazon was building this super fancy program that was supposed to help them look at resumes and people and figure out who was best for which jobs. The idea was to make the hiring process faster, less biased, and more accurate. They even had a system to judge a job candidate from between one and five stars so they can run all of their recommendation algorithms on top of it, just like on Amazon products. However, they came into a big problem that they never could really overcome. And the problem was that it kept favoring male candidates. And even as they tried to blind it from the gender, it would pick up on the word woman or something that seemed more feminine, and it would start lowering those resumes. And even though they tried for a long time to fix the bias, it just wasn't ever trustworthy. So in the end, Amazon decided to scrap the project because they lost hope that they'd ever be able to remove the bias completely. And even though we can't build a job hiring system without bias, Elon Musk is still gonna give it a try when it comes to removing fake news from Twitter. Hey there, so let's talk a second about Elon Musk and Twitter. So he said that he would love to see Twitter being the most accurate place for information out there. Very little misinformation, very little deep fakes, very trustworthy. So Kara Swisher, a tech journalist, said that she's probably gonna be building this using an artificial intelligence instead of human moderators. You see, people aren't really that good at managing like the flood of information that comes through Twitter, which is why artificial intelligence is probably our only hope. But some departments in the future definitely will require less humans, and IBM is already starting to prepare for that. 
So IBM's top boss, Arvind Krishna, announced that he's planning to hold hiring for 8,000 jobs. And that's because if you extrapolate into the future, a lot of those jobs are actually gonna be done by artificial intelligence. And these are mainly affecting positions that are not customer facing like human resources. But Krishna thinks that they don't need 30% of these jobs in the future. And instead of hiring and then at some point making a mass layoff, he wants to kind of nip it in the bud ahead of time. But if you're into tech and you need a job, there is one industry that is on the biggest hiring spree that it has ever been on and that does not look like it's gonna slow down anytime soon. And that is the US military. So a lot of times it's hard for a good engineer to pass up a job at a private company to go work for the public sector, but that's starting to change and there's definitely a lot of jobs that the military is hiring for high tech skilled workers. The Department of Defense Chief Digital and Artificial Intelligence Officer is looking to hire an AI expert at $155,000 a year. And the US Navy is looking for an expert to help them integrate augmented reality into their weapon system for a similar rate. So tech jobs in the US military are actually relatively high. And I think that's good because if our military really wants to be safe and smart, they're gonna have to pay at least the minimum of what these guys expect in the private sector. Like you might've heard mixed opinions about automation. Some saying that it will increase new jobs and boost productivity. And others saying it will eliminate job and widen the rich poor gap. The experts over at the Forbes Coaching Council think there's a way forward. And they suggest that now is a great time for you to learn some new skills, particularly the ones that are focused on strategic thinking. Like try to imagine a future where every company has its own fleet of autonomous workers. Whether it's robots, simulations, or agents, your ability to manage them is actually gonna be valuable for a long time. That means evaluating the decisions that they're making, the direction that they're going, and explaining to the company why it makes sense. Being that trusted human connection that the CEO or manager would really need to see that the system's working in the way that it should be is probably one of the most safe jobs you can hope for in the future. Smash that subscribe button.